is one of the oldest of all fighting systems. It's called Kalari and has been practiced in southern India for at least 2,000 years. Yet until recently, it was virtually unknown, even to the Indians themselves. It is even possible that the fighting arts began in India. Kalari certainly shares with the Chinese systems the honor of being the most ancient. Research by Indians into the techniques and history of Kalari is only just beginning. Until now, sophisticated Indians looked to the outside world and practiced arts like karate. Now they are beginning to realize that in the villages of South India, they have their own martial art. In Madras, karate master Tilak Moses is starting the process by collating the ancient writings given to him by masters of Kalari. They have been copied again and again for 20 centuries onto palm leaves. Dawn in a village of Kerala, on the western shore of South India. The children meet for training in this ancient martial art as they have done for generations. Around them, the village wakes up. Here, the practice of Kalari is a part of Indian daily life, in a village culture that has changed hardly at all. This small quarry is a place of battle. Kalari means battleground. These children are not being taught a sport. They are learning to defend themselves in a very hard school. The daily lessons continue until well after dawn, when the working day begins and the children go to school. This area of India is famous for its good education and its relatively high incomes. It is, by Indian standards, a prosperous, fertile place with many rivers flowing through the plantations. More than any other martial art, Kalari has many formal salutations and they are performed as a ritual before practice begins. <laughs> Kalari is a very sophisticated fighting system. It includes unarmed techniques and many weapons skills. Students are taught how to defend themselves with bare hands against weapons and sticks. The more advanced students also train with real weapons, knives, hatchets and special spring swords made from long thin strips of metal. They are unique to India. Defending against the spring sword can only be done safely with a round metal shield. Locking techniques are used to subdue an opponent or to immobilize him and take away his weapon. They require great skill and years of practice before they can be applied effectively. The village children absorb the techniques long before they can practice them themselves.
Bescheid. In the martial arts, there are many different ways of striking an opponent with the hand or foot. But a unique aspect of Kalari is the use of the feet to block incoming attacks. Students are also taught to dive and feint around the attacker under the opponent's kicks or punches. Since the Kalari ground is near the sea, some of the students are fishermen. Others are office workers, government officials or farm workers. Kalari, like other fighting arts, is more than a fighting system. It involves a detailed understanding of what can be done with the human body. A few miles inland is the small private hospital run by Master Madhavan, a doctor and master of martial arts. Fighting and healing are a natural combination. Whenever fighting techniques are practiced, people are certain to be hurt. The master is the natural person to heal his students. <laughs> As Master Madhavan's skill and fame grew, he found himself being doctor to the community, and that has become more important to him than being a fighting master. He practices a traditional Indian medical system called Mama which is seen as a science of life. It starts from fundamentally different assumptions to those of Western medicine. In Indian medicine, the doctor aims to create a state of health in the body that prevents bacteria and viruses surviving. The doctor aims to strengthen the parts of the body that are suffering, and to achieve this, he has many techniques at his disposal. Powerful massage by the doctor's feet is usually part of the treatment. In addition, there are herbs and potions which are not medicines in the Western sense. They are instead designed to counter the weakness caused by the illness and allow the body to heal itself. Master Madhavan is the third generation of his family to be the doctor in this small hospital. this child is suffering from a distorted rib cage, probably related to a spinal injury. It's a condition that is difficult to treat by any medical techniques. In the West, a similar massage treatment is often attempted.
Doctors like Master Madhavan are very important to the community. They charge little since most of their patients are very poor. It is a work of devotion rather than profit. In the Aramata Vaisil, in the Achen Yanu, I told Ulsavanganabu. Anabaibo, after Kaladi Paytum, a Piasilum, Kaladi Moragalum, not a quiet. Upon Achen Ethiopian Okebo, Achem Padipicha Alkara, I know, but in a Kalichon, upon Yanko Chai, upon Yeniki Kanduda. Enough <laughs> Kambulamilitary <laughs> Is a good Manasil Tony Angel Sandy Stanum. Despite his preoccupation with medicine, Master Madhavan is still a fighting master. Every night in the cool season, practice starts with a salutation to the gods and another to the master. The students touch his feet as a sign of submission to his authority and guidance. Before the fighting exercises, there is a lengthy warming up session. These movements are similar to those used in yoga and in many of the oriental fighting arts. One exercise, the crocodile walk, is probably unique to Kalari. It exercises almost all the muscles of the back, legs, neck and arms at the same time and can only be performed perfectly when the whole body is tensioned like a spring. The variations on it are even more difficult to do. At the heart of the southern style of Kalari is the complex form or set of movements. Most fighting systems practice these set forms. The Japanese call them katas. They are long pre-planned sequences of moves based on a series of attacks and defenses against imaginary opponents. The series of actions are repeated in many directions. Master Madhavan uses his right arm to block twice then punch to the face, usually preceded by a low kick from his right leg. It's as if he is being attacked from all sides by many opponents. He leaps and turns to avoid one attacker or to prepare to take on another. <coughs> When teaching the forms to students, the master breaks down his performance into individual actions. Yeah. <laughs> 
Ja, det gælder. 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 Every movement must be learnt perfectly, then practiced until it's instinctive. After studying the forms, students pair up to practice the techniques which they contain. They are deflecting an incoming blow and leaping clear of an attack. <laughs> They practice basic punching, blocking and kicking in pre-arranged sequences so as to improve timing and balance. <laughs> They are also taught ways of disarming an attacker with a knife, initially learning the techniques without a weapon. The most spectacular weapons are the flaming balls of fire probably used in battle to frighten advancing elephants and to turn them back into their own army. Master Panika is manager of the best ice cream restaurant in Madras. He is also in great demand as a film extra, famous for his ballroom dancing. Yet in his search for Kalari, Tilak Moses visits him because he is the master of the deadly vital point system, Mama Adi. A technique of striking at particular points on the body in order to disable or kill. They meet to practice secretly in a small Hindu shrine. Knowledge of the vital points is the most secret part of any martial arts system. The exact positions of the points are known to masters in India, China and Japan and also to forensic scientists who confirm their deadliness. A blow to the exact point is devastating, but a blow that misses has no special effect. The master always teaches the special method of resuscitation appropriate to the blow. Mm. <laughs> Murukaisayame, Arakaisayame, Tanaka Patipola. 
புரிஞ்சுதான் ஏன்னாக்கா இது ரொம்ப நம்ம பாரம்பரியமாக பழைய காலத்துலேயே நடந்துட்டு வர வீட்டு சரி யாருக்கும் சொல்லி முழுக்கை எப்பவும் செய்யக்கூடாது செய்யக்கூடாது எப்போதும் முழுக்கையை செய்யக்கூடாது சரி முழுக்கைன்னா பூ கை எடுத்து வரட்டும் சரி ஹாஃப் கையின்னு அந்த கையை பார்த்து 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 எடுத்து வந்து எடுத்துருவோம் சரி புரியுது நம்ம தப்பிச்சு கொள்றோம் சரி வேற எந்த வழியும் இல்லைன்னா சரி அந்த ஆறு சைடில் பார்த்து யாராவது பார்க்குறாங்க பார்த்து அரைக்கை செஞ்சு தப்பிச்சு போகிறோம் அரை அப்போ கூட அரைக்கை தான் செய்யணும் அரைக்கை தான் செய்யணும் முழு கை வந்து எந்த காரணத்துக்கு கூட செய்யக்கூடாது செய்யக்கூடாது சரி இருக்கா மரணம் சரி செய்தனா மரணம் மரணம் ஆகிப்போடும் சரி ஏன்னா நம்ம கொலைக்காரன் ஆக வேண்டியது இல்லையா சரி ரைட்டு நம்ம யாரும் கொலை பண்ணுறதுக்கு யாருக்கும் டயத்து கிடையாது சரி கரெக்டு புரிஞ்சுதா அதுவும் எல்லாமே இன்னொரு முக்கியமான விஷயம் எப்படின்னாக்கா இந்த விஷயம் தெரியும்னு யாருக்கும் சொல்லக்கூடாது The deep roots of Kalari in southern Indian culture are demonstrated by the way that movements from the fighting techniques are found in their dances. The Indian classical dance style, Bharata Natya, is known to date from at least the 2nd century AD. The dances tell the stories of the Hindu gods and goddesses. Each posture, each movement has a meaning. The dancers perform a language of gesture. Since the postures of the dance were set at least 2,000 years ago, it follows that any fighting postures in the dances were used at that time. After their exercises, they move on to the actual dances. They match their dance to the words that Master Lakshmi sings. This is a fighting stance, used throughout the Far East and called Tiger Hands. Some postures are obviously martial, like drawing an arrow. When Kalari fighters pull back from an attack, this is their movement. followed by a swift attack forward. Some gestures are obvious, like angry shaking hands. But what is not obvious is the following hand movement, which is the same as a fighting backhand cut. Finally, they move into the warrior god Krishna's classic posture. The right leg kicks, the hands block attacks from high and low. There are many unsolved mysteries about the history and background of martial arts. It's impossible to be certain where the technique started. 
there are possibilities that they existed about 3000 BC in the Middle East and then traveled to both India and China. It is most likely that the skills were developed by Buddhist monks and merchants who traveled regularly on the dangerous trade routes between the two countries. The warrior class in India would also have been involved in the thinking and practice needed to reach the levels of skill that are now used in Kalari. A race of famous warriors, the Nayas, practice the different northern style of Kalari. They live in the northern half of Kerala, and although they still speak the same language, there is a difference in racial background. Fighters of the northern style traditionally tie lengths of cloth for protection around their loins before practicing. Kalari develops the whole physique in a balanced way, aiming for bodies that are tough but light and fast rather than heavyweight. The standard of physical fitness developed by the masters in their students is remarkable. Like the southern master, the northern master, Master Vasudevan, is also a well-known doctor. Though these exercises are practiced regularly, there is still a strong element of danger. A mistake in timing can be serious. practice fiercely with the energy and passion of a genuine fight. Their master encourages them to use their skill to the limit, though he's always ready to step in if they get too excited and tip over the edge into real violence. Tilak Moses has traveled to study with Master Vasudeva, especially to increase his understanding of the vital point techniques. The relationship between these and the very ancient Chinese medical system of acupuncture is further confirmation that contacts existed between the fighting masters of both countries in the past. <laughs> The master dives forward and uses his head to butt the ribs. A concealed stick makes the techniques even more effective. The backbone of Kalari is contained not in the exercises, but in an attitude to life. Uh, 
ഇന്നുമാതിരി ഒരു വടിയിൽ നിന്ന് യാതൊരു അപകടവും അങ്ങനെ ഉണ്ടാകാൻ പാടില്ല ഉണ്ടാകരുതേ എന്ന് വിചാരിച്ച അതാണ് നമ്മൾ മനസ്സിൽ പ്രാപിക്കട്ടെ എന്ന് വിചാരിച്ചതാണ് നമ്മൾ അങ്ങനെ വിചാരിച്ചതാണ് ഉറപ്പായിട്ട് ഇന്നുമാതിരി ഒരു വടിയിൽ നിന്ന് യാതൊരു അപകടവും അങ്ങനെ ഉണ്ടാകാൻ പാടില്ല ഉണ്ടാകരുതേ എന്ന് വിചാരിച്ച അതാണ് നമ്മൾ മനസ്സിൽ ഇത് ഈസി വെച്ചപ്പോഴും ഇത് കയ്യിൽ ഇങ്ങനെ മറച്ച് ഇതാണ് കാല് ഒടു കറപ്പാൻ കാല് തളന്നു പോകും ഇവിടെയാണ് എത്ര നാളായാലും ഇത് വേദന പോകൂല പോകുമാട്ടെ എന്ത് പെയിൻ പോകുമാട്ട എന്ത് ട്രീറ്റ്മെന്റ് ചെയ്താലും ഒന്ന് രണ്ട് മൂന്ന് ഇവിടെ നാല് അഞ്ച് ഇവിടെ ഇത് ശ്വാസം ഉടപ്പ എല്ലാ പ്രമസ്ഥാനം പിന്നെ കൈ ഈ കക്ഷാത്ര കൈ കക്ഷാത്ര അതിങ്ങനെ സ്ട്രേറ്റ് അല്ല The relationship between fighting and medicine is more fundamental than a Western sports coach is concerned with fractures, sprains and bruises. The masters study and practice a whole body medicine, designed to anticipate illness as much as to cure it. Master Vasudevan has a whole team of assistants to help him at his morning surgery. Many of them are also students of Kalari. This particular patient is having such a long thorough massage that it's necessary to cool him during the process by pouring liquid onto his forehead. The aromatic vegetable oils used in this massage are specially mixed for his condition. Massage is only a small part of his treatment. Rogi, we have to drink it. That's not the same. Yes, it's 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 not the same. Yes, വെയിലുള്ള ആ വ്യായാമം ശക്തി അറിയാമുള്ള അതിനൊരു ശ്ലോകം തന്നെ ഉണ്ട് വ്യായാമം വ്യായാമം ആത്തപ വേഗ രോധ ഹിമധൂമ അത്തിച്ചനീജോപത നാഹസ്വപ്ന ചിരപ്രദാ അങ്ങനെ ഇങ്ങനെ എന്താ പറയുക വേണം നാഹസ്വപ്നം പകൽ ഉറങ്ങാൻ പാടില്ല ചിരകാലാസീത ദാസം സ്ഥിതി ഒരേ ഇരിപ്പിൽ ഇങ്ങനെ വളഞ്ഞുകൂടിയിരിക്കാൻ പാടില്ല ശോകം ജാഗ്രപാതയാന ഗമനം ദുഃഖോ ദേഷ്യോ പിന്നെ കുലുങ്ങുന്ന വണ്ടി യാത്രയോ ഒന്നും പാടില്ല സ്തുപ്തിയാദി വാഷ്യാദിയും വളരെ സമയം സംസാരിച്ചുകൊണ്ടിരിക്കാൻ പാടില്ല ഉഷ്ണജലോപചാരി അതിപുസ്യാൽ ബ്രഹ്മചാര്യം സദ എപ്പോഴും ഇയാൾ ബ്രഹ്മചാര്യം പാലിക്കണം ഇത്രയും ആ അതെല്ലാം വളരെ അത് ഇന്ന മാതിരി വേണമെന്നൊക്കെ അതെ പത്തി തിരുമ നമ്മൾ ഇപ്പൊ എടുത്തേ ഇന്നിപ്പോ അവിടെ ചെയ്തില്ലേ അതെ ആ ആ അതെ അത് രണ്ടും മറ്റേത് സുഖത്തിന് തിരുമ ഇതൊന്നും കണക്കില്ല അതൊന്നുമില്ല ആ അത് ഒരേ എണ്ണം നമ്മള് ഒരാളുടെ ശരീരം നോക്കും അയാൾ നല്ല കട്ടിയാണ് അപ്പൊ സാറിനെയാണ് നമ്മൾ തരുമ്പോൾ നിങ്ങൾ ഇച്ചിരി കട്ടിയിടാം ആ കട്ടി തന്നെ എന്നും തരും ആ ഒരു പത്തിയും വേണ്ട അങ്ങനെ അത് പേശികൾ ഇങ്ങനെ ഉടച്ചുടച്ച് ഉടച്ചടച്ച മസാജ് ഇസ് എ ക്രൂഷ്യൽ പാർട്ട് ഓഫ് നോർത്തേൺ കലാരി സ്റ്റുഡൻസ് എ മസാജ് റെഗുലർലി ഫോർ ഫ്ലെക്സിബിലിറ്റി ആൻഡ് എ ന്യൂ സ്റ്റുഡൻറ്റ് ഹാസ് എ ഡെയിലി മസാജ് ഫോർ എ മന്ത് ബിഫോർ ഹീസ് കൺസിഡർഡ് ഫ്ലെക്സിബിൾ എനഫ് ടു സ്റ്റാർട്ട് ട്രെയിനിങ് The massage is designed both to make the movements easier and to protect against strained muscles and pulled tendons. Kai nere gopi thodu. Valathu gal thooki valathu ondu neeki chavutti. Edathu gal thooki edathu ondu neeki chavutti. Valathu edil pandittiru. Muttu thottu mulupu thottu kai nere gopi thodu. Muttu thottu mulupu thottu kai nere gopi thodu. In the northern style, the salutations to the gods are very complex. When students salute the altar and the weapons on it, they are worshipping Kali. 
the Indian goddess of war and destruction. At the other side of the training hall, they salute Mother Earth. Instead of practicing in the open, as in the southern style, here they place a roof over a dugout pit. The dimensions of this fighting temple are precisely laid down by tradition. The northern style uses many high kicks and low crouching movements, designed to confuse an attacker. When the students spring up from the ground, they thrust with great force from an unexpected direction. There is ritual in everything, even in the exchanges before a fight, which are in fact designed to avoid fighting if possible. Some fighting arts are taught and practiced in an abstract way. The exercises seeming to have little relationship to actual fighting. This is not so in Kalari. In the early stages of learning a defense against a man with a stick, the master warns his young student where the next blow will strike. But with an older boy, the master strikes without warning, calmly concealing the intention and direction of the blows, stretching the young student's anticipation, courage and resistance to intimidation. The master gently tests his young student's reflexes, making sure that he is gauging the proper distance and defensive postures and is ready to accept a powerful, terrifying attack. Most fighting arts don't use real weapons in training, but they do in Kalari. Their use increases the student's confidence and courage as well as their fighting skill. It is the master's responsibility to put himself at risk when he teaches new techniques. Training and techniques like these come out of centuries of experience, thought and practice. Master Vasudevan works to the limits of his students' ability and his arms are a mass of scars from his daring teaching. It is even more dangerous when he gives up his dagger. He is full of the spirit of Kalari, which for him resolves the conflict between fighting and healing. Okay. 